citizenship throughout the contest and the administration of those schools. Request the same from all bands. The official decided the scheme that extensive requirements set by the Ohio High School Athletic Association and have been approved by those schools to provide an important role in tonight's game. The officials for this game are Mr. Kirk Lieber, Mr. Ryan Bowers, and Mr. Charlie Reinhauer. The athletes, coaches, and officials are guests of Jamal High School, and fans are asked to respect the effort each of them has put forth to parade for this contest. We ask all attending to show courtesy and respect for fellow fans, officials, coaches, those administering the contest, and of course, your team and your opponent. And as important today as ever, please respect the game. Now let's meet tonight's starters. First, for our visitors from Alvaro High School. A junior, six foot one wing, number zero, Josiah Childress. A senior, five foot five guard, number one, Jonathan Duvall. A junior, six foot two wing, number three, Mason Lex. A senior, five foot eight wing, number four, Carter Tapp. A junior, six foot one wing, number eleven, Nick Lee. And coach the Royals, Ty Traxler, assistant coach, Jeff Hanna. And now, here's your own comments. Uh, Genoa, Genoa Comet Stadium, is that what it is? I'm sorry. <laughs> if, it, if you say so, I'll just say that. Uh, welcome in tonight, Tuesday Night Basketball here on Florida Sports Network. Mike James along with Mr. The One and Only, Mick Gonzalez. How you doing, buddy? Hey, I'm this side of Embalmed. I'm pretty good. We get ready for the opening tip. Genoa get ready to take on the Elmwood Royals. Of course, the Royals in their royal blue with white. And, of course, you know, with the home whites, with maroon and silver outline. Silver and blue. Stop it. <laughs> I'll start walking like Burl Ives. As the layup there by Plants is no good. And the rebound grabbed by Josiah Childress. And here come the Royals. Well, this is, uh, if the JV game's anything to go by, this should be a dandy of a game. You know, that's my boy out there, Jonathan Duvall. Remember, we've we've been watching him for like three years now running the point for Elmwood right now, and he's that little firecracker that it just made a lot of things happen for the Royals. And they battle in the corner. The ball goes out. Looks like they're going to keep it. Well, something, you know, Genoa's really not been tested. They just haven't been tested yet this year, and so... This is one of them games where uh, we'll see y y a lot of things could happen, you know, and Elmwood's got the power to uh, make some stuff happen. Traxler, Ty Traxler, the head coach of Elmwood, he's very determined in getting, trying to see if his team can get a W here tonight as the rebound is grabbed by the Royals as we're in the opening minute here in this NBC con contest between the Royals and the Comets. Now back underneath Duvall looking for some help. As he kicks it back out. Once again, they go around the arch. Here's a three attempt. No, too strong. However, it ping-pongs and is grabbed right there. 
And it's going to be rebounded by Taft. And the shot goes back up. No good. Bench with the rebound. Of course, we saw a really nice article in yesterday's paper here in Toledo about Andrew Bench and Mr. Jacob Plants. Great friends and uh, have really done well with the game. Oh, oh a beautiful three-point uh, shot there by Caleb McGeorge. He knew that was gone the second he took it off his hand. 3-0 the Comets. As here's the lob pass and the layup. Count it and one. As that was Nick Weiss, the 6'1 junior. Took that long feed and laid it up and in, and he's going to head to the line to try and tie this game up. Well, one thing about uh, the Royals is they're tough. I mean, they take the ball to the hole. They're very hard. And a really nice, nice shot right there from Luis. Yeah, nice stroke, and he ties the game up. Three apiece. Well, here goes McGeorge again. Off the oh, window. Good bench. Nice. Strong rebound and is able to give Janola the lead once again. 5-3. That's the one marketing factor that Genoa is going to have tonight is their ability to just own the boards. Well, there's a turnover, miscue, finally grabbed by Bench. Now driving underneath, here's Bradfield. He'll kick it back out. And from 15, count it. Out. Bench off to a good start here tonight. Here comes Duvall, fires it underneath. And a long two, no good. Bench with again with the rebound. He's already got a couple rebounds to go with five points. Nope. Oh, the jump ball with the ball. And it's going to go to Elmwood. That, that was, did you like that little jump ball with the ball? I got it. You got yeah, it. You got it. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. That's all right. No, you're fine. <laughs> oh, boy. It's going to be a long night. Yeah, it's anyway. going to be a long night tonight, huh, man? <laughs> you got to put up with me. Well. And vice versa. Yeah, yeah. Jonathan Duvall, his pass a little bit high, but ball is grabbed there by Taft. Nice. Now the feed underneath. Oh, that one would not go for Weiss. That's got to happen. They cannot miss them if they have any chance of beating these guys. That cannot happen. Well, here's another long three. Nope. That's going to go out of bounds and some contact over there. and. I don't know what happened Weiss, on that one. Weiss was on the floor. That's all I know. And ball went out of bounds. It's going to go over to Elmwood. We got substitutions. Special thanks coming out to IBEW Local 8 for helping us out. Of course, UA50 and the local pipe fitters always with us. And uh, Brad Morrison and everybody over at Mommy Bay Turf happened to uh, make this happen for us. And, of course, Fast Track's performance, uh, you know, getting us in shape here. 351-8611. Uh, They're out there on Alt Road. Now uh, here is Duvall speeding down the court. Finds it, look, putting it underneath. Gets uh, it, well, almost got it back, but it was picked off nicely. Joey <laughs> Dominique, boy, I'll tell you what. He has just been a firecracker the last couple of games. And what are we going to do here? Foul here is Bench tried to I go back know. up. Well, they haven't. Oh, yep. well, they are calling it. The one guy was, it looked like it wasn't a foul. Yeah, he was looking over to the other official there to make sure. So that foul is called on Nick Weiss. His bench will go to the line to shoot two. 4.23 to go here in the opening quarter as bench planks the first one, unfortunately. Andrew basically has a green light to the hole all night tonight and uh, should see a lot of numbers out of bench tonight. Well, he just tacked down his fifth point, so it's 8-3. Comets on top. Yeah, this is one of those, this is that, this is that really good time to, you have to score if you're Elmwood. You gotta score right here or it can get ugly real quick. All right, eyes up on cue. Jonathan Duvall sank the ball. <laughs> this is going to be a contest oh, between no. you and I. Why do I get the feeling? I know. Bradfield. Nope. That one, they're going to keep it with Genoa. That was close. All right, here's my, here's my analogy. Uh, you're a much taller, stronger team. Why are you taking threes? 
Take the ball to the hole. Take the ball to the hole. You've got six guys. Five of the, uh, five of the guys that are out there can take that ball to the hole right away. That feels. There's, yeah. He's got bench. I mean, bench. You got to give the ball to bench there. You got to give the ball to him. Even bench is just rolling yeah. his eyes in. You can tell. He's trying to be a team player, nice. but my goodness. Now underneath, easy yeah. buck. Oh. oh, no. Got his own rebound. Missed again, but there's But bench. thank you, Andrew Bench. Settled things down and put in the basket, so it's 10 to 5. Bench with seven of those 10. Duvall for three. Air ball. Chases, tried to chase it down himself, but cannot catch up. So 3.07 to go here on this one. First quarter, that is. Glad you could join us here on a Tuesday night. It's a nice day today. A little rain, but still it's warm. Not for long, my friend. Nope, it's all going to plummet. Gonna change. Yep. Here's the long three. Right. Good. My goodness. So, Mike Reitenauer, the junior, sinks the tray. It's 13-5, and Ty Traxler is going to take a timeout here for Elmwood. 2.43 to go in the first. It's 13-5, Genoa. Genoa Bank helped finance my great-grandfather's farm equipment. Genoa Bank helped my grandfather with a small business loan. My parents' home loan was from Genoa Bank. And I managed my free checking account online with Genoa Bank. Since 1902, Genoa Bank has helped generations of families. Many things have changed over the years, but our commitment to our customers has not. We care about their needs and the good of our community. At Genoa Bank, we take your banking needs personally. Stop by any of our eight locations today. So it will be Elmwood Ball as Duval has it. It's not that Elmwood hasn't had any opportunities. They've just not been able to finish so far. Yeah, so far you're seeing you're seeing them get to the hole, but you know, boy, the finger roll's just off today. Tell you what, during the JV game, and we watch those two teams go at it like cats and dogs. I mean, they just absolutely went. We've all now looking for some help, and we've got a foul call. I think this one may be. Is that Bench? Yep, it's his first. Quiet game on fouls so far tonight. Not, not, not too bad so far. No, two, two for Comets, one for Elmwood, so. Nothing inside, yeah. The ball's the not gonna ball's go. gotta get it in. He finally yeah. does at the last moment. Look here now. Here's Daniel Beck. The ball getting the play from Traxler. Now a little. Tell you what, uh, Genoa is just so aggressive. Makes it difficult. Now from the corner, here's a three. Mm, almost, but no good. Here comes Plants down the right side. Nice, nice, nice layup and in. Easy bucket there for Joey Dominique. Joey Dominique. 90 seconds to go in the opening quarter, and Comet's up by 10. I think Elmwood's going to try and sink threes here if they can, but so far it's been tough sledding. So far, Duvall's been great at handling the ball, but every time he's tried to dish it off, or he needs to get Minch inside. That's our big six, six foot five guy. He needs to be able to do something inside. Well, it's tough when you've got uh, another, well, another six five guy in there in the form of Andrew Bench. Well, you, you've got, you've got, uh, nice. Oh, see, again. Once again, yeah, that should have gone in. It just can't finish this. we got 40 seconds to go in the quarter. 
Boy. Nice feed outside. Right now, count it for three for right now. It's his second tray of the night. Eighteen five, your score. Looks like Duval and company are going to set up for the last shot. Well, wow, we're at the point where it could get away from them real quick, real quick, and uh, they don't want that. Oh. The ball now with three seconds. I waited too long. And count. Nope, they're saying no. Seeing the official wave it off. So we got one in the books here in Genoa. The Comets out to an 18-5 lead. It's high school basketball. You've got it right here on the Toledo Sports Network. Tires play an important role in your vehicle's handling, comfort, and fuel efficiency. So when it comes to maintaining them, you need a name you can trust. At Dan R's Automotive, our expert staff will help you find the perfect tires to keep your vehicle at peak performance. We have a huge selection of top brand tires for you to choose from. Having issues with your tires? We'll diagnose the problem and get you back on the road. Visit Dan R's Automotive today for tires from a name you can trust. Well, one quarter in the books here from Genoa. And we've got ourselves an 18-5 game. Genoa out to a hot start. What does Elmwood have to do, Mike, to try and get back into this one? Well, we, we talked about it all through the first quarter. They have to make those little bunny shots inside. They missed three, what, three, four of them? I was going to say at I least mean, there's four, eight, There's more. eight points right there, you know, and, uh, you know, and, and that's a four or five point game. It's manageable. They can do things. You know, and I got right now we're in there uh, shooting threes. You got Kayla McGeorge shooting threes. Plants and uh, guys, they, they, you know, everybody is contributing here for Genoa right now. Plants with the ball. Right. And, that, and that's going to be the thing because Genoa is that good that they, they have to make sure all the guys can do what they need to do to make things happen. Bryce Reynolds with the rebound. Oh, he carried it. Yeah. And it's not going your way. It's not going your way. And they used to call it palming the ball. Yes. <laughs> And back when I played, it was palming the ball. I was, they not keep, that it they ever used peach crates for back, yeah, baskets sure, back sure, then, too. Exactly. For both of us. Kind of both are along. And they the ate the byproducts of the pork that they used to make the basketball. Is that what so, you're saying? Uh, Sorry about that analogy there, folks. Oh, nice drive to the hole, though, later. Good recovery by Reynolds. Here comes Duvall. I like Alan Latar, too. He's uh, one of the juniors on the team for Genoa, and he's a nice, nice ball player. Nice. Oh. Oh. Guys, got to take that shot. Well, here you go. Duvall for three. Count it. Oh. They needed that bad. Yes, they did. Down to a 10 point lead now. It's 18 8. Now another three attempt off the back of the iron. Nice rebound. Going up strong. Hey, I'm Lewis. Yep. Nate's the guy inside. He's your garbage man. He's the one that can get some things done in there. And uh, nice to see him be able to get those points. I'm not. I'm not digging this three-point stuff though. Early. I mean, right now, I get it. I get it. I get it. But that's uh, what they leave you. I, yeah, but that's not not what we're used to seeing. Too early, too early in the set. That's maybe yeah. where I'm at. There you go. But they're going in most you're of the time. So. You're just happening, man. Too too early in the set. You know, the gig yeah, isn't yeah. what you want. Yeah. Here it is now. Tito passed me my tissue. Uh, Elmwood looking just for to get a Something, shot off yeah. somewhere, anything. And no dice. Here come the comments once again. Nice. Plants takes the three. Nope, too strong. Tipped, right. held in there though. Oh, oh, stolen though by Duvall. She knocked right now or down. Here's a three attempt, and there you go. Bounce down into single digits. You got a nine point game. Well, that's what Duvall needs to do right now, and he's been able to do it. Lewis went up strong, and he just walked. Yep, oh. but 
Plants knocked the ball out, though, so they saw that. But, oh, here's what happens. When you, when you run the Genoa offense and you run what you're supposed to run with it, they're, they're unstoppable. They're unstoppable. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Oh, it's been, it's been a oh long time. Oh, my goodness. Now goodness. you understand why it's been so long, right? Yeah. Uh, Duvall trying to keep the hot hand going, but that one clanks. Got no problem with that shot. Nope. You know, he was open. That's their dollar bill right now. Good anticipation over there by Weiss. And here comes Elmwood, but uh, another good steal there by Bradfield. Seeing a lot of uh, sloppy play right now on both sides of the both sides of it. Let's we'll see what Bradfield can do. Of course, when in doubt, that's all you got to do. Yep, go to bench. That is your first option. That should be your first option every time. Beautiful. Nine points for Andrew Bench, 22-11. And nice tip there by Plants, causing the turnover. Oh. And we've got to travel. Yep. Caleb knew that's a second. He was, he was looking down. He saw Bench taking off, and he had two guys on him. Yep. So, the ball goes back over to Elmwood, 417 on your clock. Big round of applause and thank yous out to Jill, Donnie Bench, and all the great people out of Bench's Greenhouse helping us each and every week. And, of course, uh, Tom in the game at Wojo's Heating. That one didn't go too Nice well. tip. Here's Bradfield. Nice. Lays it up and in. <laughs> Ty Traxler going to take another timeout. We've got 406 to go. It's 2411 comments. On the job for you for over 100 years. You need a career. You need a future. Local 8 can help you make it happen. Join the men and women who build our community. Become a part of a proud tradition. Build your career. Build your future with the brothers and sisters of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local Union 8. We're on the job for you. We're on the job for you. As you can see, the happy drum line up there. Uh, Is there such a thing as a happy drum line? Oh, huh? well, sure. Did you ever see the movie? Nick Cannon? As a matter of fact, I didn't. You didn't? No. You have to see that movie. Uh, I, I don't know. You There's have a few things in life I have to do. I have to see the Niagara Falls. I have to see Niagara Falls. Uh, I don't have to see Nick just a lot of water. Drum just a lot of water there, okay? <laughs> I do not have to see Nick Cannon in Drumline. That's not one of those. It's not one of those life-altering movies. That, like, brought to you by Dude Wipes. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, oh, we got a fall there. Is hitting the deck. Was What would you call it? A, a fall? Yes. Or a foul? Fall, well, fall. It was a fall. Because it was uh, Terrell Lawson. Oh, I got you. Took I the spill. But it right. is a foul also. All right. Yes, I know. I'm a whiz with the English language. Full. It's a full. Here's, oh, oh I, thought that, I thought Plants had that almost one for sure. Almost a stole. It was almost a stole. A stolen. <laughs> it was almost a stolen, huh? Stola, stola. Anyway. Here now is Duval. I tell you to watch the replay from the Alabama game last night, but that was much worse than Mick and I together. There's no <laughs> question about that. Oh, God, what a bad night. That, oh, the tide should have been arrested. Mm. That elephant should have been arrested for impersonating a pinata. Oh. That thing just, he got beat. That went off. The glass went off of Lawson, so it's going to go back over to Genoa. Yeah, this is the thing you got to worry about, and this is what's scaring me so much about Genoa this year is the complacency. Yep. You're, we're at a point now where they basically are like, okay, all right, we're, we're doing whatever we need to do. And uh, that's Easy beautiful. feed there for McGeorge. But that's the offense. Yeah. You know, that's the offense. Beautiful job. Plus, uh, oh, over and back. Goes back over to Elmwood. How do you like that? Over and back, back over. Anyway. <laughs> so, about that game last night. Yeah. Yeah, well. Uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, nice job there by Bradfield to haul that one in. Uh, Dave Truman even said the movie sucked. 
I didn't say it was great. I didn't oh, say so it was you like want me to watch Nick Cannon? Oh, yeah. Ooh, and he I makes it. it. He makes it look so easy. Yeah. And it's not. I, mean, I actually wish we would have had a second camera on that one because it was so pretty. It was. Oh, Duvall. Well, they get the rebound. Back up strong. Right. Nice effort up there by Casey Snow. He's a 6'3 senior. Only stops the bleeding there for Elmwood. Oh, oh here's a turnover. Coming back the other way. Here is Plout. No dice. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. And. Bunch of small line. Yep. So he was fouled there by Snow, so. Drew will head to the line. Well, no, there's not. I uh, guess he wasn't in the act oh, of shooting. Oh, I thought he was. Yeah. Well, there you go, folks. They gave, they gave the foul to Plouk, but it was Snow that was the guy that actually fouled him. It was two, not 22. I'm thinking this is, uh, this is a bad pick here, yeah. 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 Uh, anyhow. That's his first. Yep. There comes Duvall. He's going to fire it down. Oh, nice block <laughs> over there. Over here's okay. a three attempt. No good. Put back up and in. Good rebound over there from Mason Lentz. They need it. And the other thing they need is they need to come up with some stops on the defensive side of the ball. Well, they can't go into a zone. They got to play man. They basically have to play man to man. And that oh, a charge. That's <laughs> Duvall took. Hey, he took it full on, man. Yeah, I'll tell you that was textbook. Duvall did a nice job with that, and uh, he made it look easy. Yep. So Joey Dominique with the foul, his first. He didn't like the call, but yeah, you're right. It was as you said. It's that textbook. Was textbook. Yep. That was beautiful job. Duvall did exactly what he was supposed to do. Drops out to him, man. Well, here we go. Buck 45 to go in the half. Elmwood still not out of the realm of possibilities yet. Plauk driving goes off his leg. And they're going to say last went off of Genoa. Yeah, it's going to stay here. The one thing Genoa has, and this is because they've been together so long, is their confidence level is just through the roof. And that's where I get a little nervous on the complacency as they get, get ready for playoffs and stuff like this. To be honest, I don't see anybody in the, in the uh, NBC beating Genoa now. I, I just don't see it. And, uh, well, you've seen pretty much everybody there is to yeah. see. I would. See, we'll see what happens when they play Rossford again because Rossford is very young, but they're starting to play pretty good ball. They got Otsego tonight, mm -hmm. and uh, they're hot and cold, though. That's the only thing with uh, with the Rossford. But oh, there's and the steal. Here's the turnover. Plants with the easy Doesn't layup. Under a minute to go in the half, and right now Genoa doubled up by an elbow at 30 to 15. At this point, I would want to just hold on to that ball as long as I possibly can. You're going to get the last shot, or that's what you want. Oh, wow. That, that one last went off of Duvall. Because Dominique tipped it, but it went off of Duvall's hand as well. And it rains, it pours, my friend. Here's Bradfield. Hey, if you'd like to give us a text, 419-514-1302. Not too strong, <laughs> but bench. Bench is going to line this time. Yep. It's only the third team foul on Elmwood, but. It's been a quiet one. It's yeah. been a quiet one so far. Casey Snow picking up foul number two. Drew Bench to shoot a pair. Nice shot right there. Okay, so Bench is going to Bowling Green for football. Yes. You don't think he should at least try to be part of Bowling Green's basketball program? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really think you're going to be able to Division One. You have so much stuff going on with football. I just don't. Yeah, I don't even know anybody. Division one that doubles up. I mean, 
No one. Remember Charlie Ward? Well, yeah, you go back. But yeah. now, I mean, I'm yeah. sure Truman or Robert or one of them guys that are listening, they'll, 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 they'll give us it, one They'll here. let us know. Well, it, here we go, under a dozen to go. If anybody has a chance to do that, it's Jacob Plant. You know, where, where he's Does going. Does Lake, Lake Erie have a I don't know. I do team? not know. Here's the three attempts. No good. Okay. I think, uh, I think Brentner got a piece of that. But anyway, we got one half of the books here in Genoa High School with all comments here in this opening half as they lead this one 32-15. So stick around. And we'll be back with more here with the high school football, or high school basketball, excuse me. It is the Toledo Sports Network. A rewarding career begins with an apprenticeship in the piping industry. Our state-of-the-art training facility, combined with on-the-job training side-by-side -side with a journeyman, delivers the experience needed to become a professional plumber, steam fitter, or HVAC service mechanic. Avoid costly tuitions and student loans. Earn a competitive wage and college credit in an exciting trade. We are the Northwest Ohio piping industry, building the future through dedication, knowledge, and expertise. You've planned and planned. Each moment of your special day just has to be perfect. You don't want to worry about anything. Just know that you've hired professionals to make your wedding day special. Mike Jamison with Creative Video Imagery has produced award-winning weddings for over 15 years. Our company has the equipment and the artistic ability to capture your day on digital DVD, giving you lasting memories of a day you will cherish forever. Call Creative Video Imagery today or visit our website, Creative Video Imagery, making moments into lifetime memories. Hi there, I'm Nick with A-Plus Building Maintenance, your Toledo handyman. Do you need home repairs done? Not sure who to call? Here at A-Plus, we install everything from light bulbs to roofing. We're fully licensed and insured to protect you. We're also a proud member of the BBB. Please visit us online at ToledoHandyman.com. There you can see many before and after photos along with other customer testimonials and ask your own home repair question. Any job big or small, A-plus building maintenance, 419-478-1542. At Maumee Bay Turf Center, we're on your team. Providing quality stadium surfaces for area high school stadiums and the preferred product of the NFL and supplier to the last four Super Bowls and the NFL Hall of Fame. Your sports field construction specialist and a proud sponsor of high school sports in Northwestern Ohio. Is your roof past its peak? It's not always this easy to tell. From rooftops to foundations, Seagate is a trusted A-plus BBB accredited business and a Platinum Preferred Contractor. As a Platinum Preferred Contractor, we offer one of the country's best roofing warranties, the Owens Corning True Protection 50-Year Warranty. That's material and labor. We've earned your trust for over 30 years, Toledo. Call Seagate now. Mike Jamison and Jamison's Mobile Music would like to talk to you about your entertainment needs for your upcoming wedding or special event. For over 25 years, Mike has made wonderful memories one event at a time. Professional sound and lighting and video for your special event. Call us today for an affordable package for your special day. 419-514-1302. Jamison's Mobile Music and Video. Stop struggling with the big box stores. Choose Gladio. A hardware store gets so much more. Your home improvement answer store. A place to design your interior space. A professional and friendly smiling face. Everything you need for your home. And Gladio is locally owned. Adler Transmissions and Brake Shop, 106 South Main, Walbridge, Ohio. Your automotive parts and accessories number one store. Your first stop for quality transmission repair for over 25 years. Adler's Transmission and Brake Shop has been providing Walbridge and all of Northwestern Ohio with quality service. Adler's Transmission and Brakes, 419-666-1010. Proud sponsor of high school sports in Northwestern Ohio. Porker's Marty here. We hear every day 
here at Fairway, how tight the housing market is, how there's just so few great homes out there. And I want to remind everybody, we have a fantastic suite of renovation products. They are basically designed where you can buy a house, borrow extra money over and above the sale price, uh, get contractors lined up, and we pay them after closing. So the work is done after closing. You get to pick who you're going to use, and you can buy that house, fix it up, and create what you want. Uh, with as tight as the market is right now, in fact, I have probably a half a dozen customers who are to the point where they're so frustrated they're about to give up. So just think renovation loan. Wojo's Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing. Quality comfort you can count on since 1967. They're a proud sponsor of Genoa High School Sports and can help you with all your heating, air conditioning, and plumbing needs. Give them a call today at 419-693-3220. From the kitchens of Italy to you, Arturo's Pizza Kitchen is the home of authentic Italian food. As one of the oldest independently owned pizzerias in Toledo, Arturo's Pizza Kitchen has been serving since 1988. With pizza, salads, award-winning subs, chicken chunks and wings, mom's own lasagna recipe, and our famous cheese sticks, we have it all. Never frozen, always homemade. Arturo's Pizza Kitchen. Hungry? Call Arturo's. 419-698-1641. Graymont in Genoa, producers of doclamide lime, and hydrate, serving the community for over 90 years. The plant currently has 60 employees. The safety and development of these employees is a focus for your plant. Over 80% of our employees currently live within 11 miles of the plant. Graymont. For more information about this company, you can check us out on the web at www.graymont.com. Cleaning your gutters can be dangerous. Take it from Marty. For 30 years, I've been climbing up that ladder, cleaning out those gutters. One time, I leaned the ladder up there, and the feet were on the deck. The deck was a little wet. Next thing I know, the ladder kicks out, and I'm hanging by the gutter, and I start yelling for help. After that occurrence, I called Gutter Helmet. Call Gutter Helmet for an estimate. 419-475-0000. Get Gutter Helmet today, and you'll never clean your gutters again. Keeping you out of the gutter. Hello, oh, welcome you back here to Genoa as we await the start of the third quarter. Right now it's all comments 32-15. I am Mick, he is Mike, and well Mike, this was one of those where Genoa got off to a good start. They haven't stopped since. Well, I think what you've been able to see so far tonight is a dominance factor that Genoa has been able to kind of put on everybody uh, so far this year that they've played. Uh, tonight, it hasn't been Jacob Plants. Uh, Bench is doing a pretty good job inside, got 13 points. Uh, Bench has only got two points right now, but uh, I'll tell you what, right now he's had a couple of nice three-point shots in there. Uh, Caleb George set himself up, and uh, it's kind of been, sp it's, it's been spread out a little bit all the way around, so it's worked out pretty well for them. But, uh, you know, Elmwood's there. It's just they got to make these inside shots. That's the thing. Oper they've got the, they've had the opportunities. They have not been able to ca cash in on them. Absolutely. Not not at all. And it, and it's really uh, been, a, you know, Genoa's just been able to basically run, uh, you know, a nice little 2-3 zone on them and, uh, and just basic zone on them, and it's working very well. They, they haven't been able to execute and uh, make some things happen, but it's there. They just got to make it happen. Well, things don't get easier here for Elmwood. Of course, uh, their next game up, they play Fostoria at home. And of course, Genoa heads to Lake here on uh, Thursday. So, yeah, we'll be doing that game. We'll, we'll be there for that one. And uh, I'll tell you what, uh, I think what you're going to see coming out here in the next, you know, everybody's going to do their their best to shut down bench and to shut down uh, and to shut down plants. So it's it's time now for Caleb McGeorge to play, Nate Lewis to play, Joey Dominique, you know, and and right now are these guys are they're going to have to make it so tough for them that that's going to open things back up. And it, I'll tell you what, if your coach Zach Alt, you're real, you're real super happy right now because you got all your guys doing something. And I get some special thanks out to uh, Keith Hilly and everybody over at the uh, Graymont Quarry that's uh, making sure we can do these games for you. 
Of course, uh, all the great people over at A Plus Home Improvements, 478 1542. And uh, uh, all the great people at Wojo's Heating. I'll tell you what, uh, if it wasn't for Wojo's, I'd be cold right now, and I think we're going to get cold this week. Yes, it's uh, coming. Tomorrow. It's coming. Yes, yes. So, all the great people out there, we uh, we thank you so much for helping us out. And if you'd like to be a part of it, so we can do even more games, the more sponsors we can get, the more games we can do. And uh, we could probably do upwards of 10 games a week if we wanted to. And uh, if you'd want to listen to us that long, I don't know. So 419-514-1302. But you're Mike Jameson. <laughs> well, Elmwood with the ball to start the third quarter. And we've got long. A, I was going to say, we got a foul right out, mm-hmm. right off the shoot. And I believe it is going to... Nate Lewis picks up the foul. Well, Ron Reinauer just walked by me and wouldn't high five me. That's because he's I'm good so, and I'm not. I was gonna say that's because I'm here. Uh, Is that it? Yeah, that's oh, it. Oh, okay. Elmwood with the ball. Oh, Here's nice the feed inside. inside. The teardrop would not fall, and it's gonna stay with Elmwood. Yeah. Mason's missed about three of them now, maybe four. Where I mean. It's eight points right yep. there. Look at the numbers. Here's a three oh, attempt. And but then, well, I t- those are as pure as pure can be. Beautiful I, I, I expect rain to come in here now. And those are some some big arch in that three-point shot of Duvall's. Uh, those are McGonzalez shots. Well, that's because I can't jump. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have no elevation, so I have to put moon shots up. Of course, when you got two rotator cuff tears, you don't. You don't shoot. <laughs> Aha. That's the, the old rotator cuff tear scenario. Well, I'm with you. Yeah, I just I just pass. Just dish them off. Well, here we go. Duval with the ball. You <laughs> love saying that. Uh, just any variation. Sure. Keeps it interesting. Now, trying to move over there is Lentz. Here's the feed inside. See, that's where they could have finished that. Wow, that went, did everything but go in the basket. It's going to go back over to Genoa. Well, that thing rattled off the glass, the rim back off the iron, and did everything but go in, and that's been their problem so far. Bradfield brings it up here. No problem with Duvall, but he got through it. Three attempts, too strong. Rebound grabbed by Nate Lewis. And a foul going to be called. Yeah, I, I just don't like seeing that three-point shot early in the series, uh, you know, and, uh, and uh, that, but that's just me. Early in the program. Yes. Now in on the feed, easy bucket for Plants. Slow night for Plants with only four points. Oh, my gosh. He could have took that right to the bucket. Yeah. There was nobody in between them. Gets all the way outside, and Lentz can't get it to go. That's, uh, they're, they're trying to catch up in a hurry, and that's not how you're going to get it. See, oh, Bench rolled off his yeah, I think he was foot. trying to pass it, too, and... Uh, just uh, just need to keep going. And looking for some help. We got a whistle and a foul. Yeah, you had three guys coming down there. Uwees came down the lane, I think it was too. Bradfield. Yep. Second foul on Bradfield tonight. Second team foul here in the second half for, for Genoa. For I've been spending too much time in the south. Mm, yes. uh, nice. Nice feed. Oh, great block over there by Bench. Do you think he got numbers on that? I don't know. And they're going to. That's staying here. Yep. Of course, the official was kind of hesitant in making that call, but. Well, he's young. That's true. <laughs> well, we got a couple. We've got a couple of green guys in here, man. Yeah, yes. Hey, if you're interested in being a uh, referee, please do it. They, they need him so bad right now. Yes, they do, as Mason Lentz 
Got a bucket there, and now it's 34-20. Plants for, is that a three or two? That's a two. Six points now for Plants. 36-20, five minutes to go here in this third quarter. Oh. There's the feed inside. Get it back out, reset it. And double dribble going to be called on Weiss. You watch these kids play, and uh, they're just so methodical. And uh, <laughs> never mind. Okay. Never mind. Hey, you have the right assessment. I agree sure. with that. Here's the feed nice. underneath. They do that. They could do that every time down the court mm -hmm. and score. Oh, tough break on the pass. There. There's a turnover. Well, good hustling effort by Weiss, but it is going to be Genoa Ball. Well, actually, Duvall is the one who made that happen. Oh, that yeah, Duvall is the one who made that happen. He got the ball out of Dominique's hands. 4.27 to go in the third. It's 38-20. Step out to Ignite Coffee and Tea, Route 51 in Genoa, Ohio, for the best in comfort drinks and baked goods and incredible sandwiches. Ignite Coffee and Tea has been a proud sponsor of high school sports in the area and has become one of the highlights of Genoa, Ohio. All sorts of coffees, teas, bubble teas, along with the best baked goods in the area. Ignite Coffee and Tea is a proud sponsor of high school sports in the area. So 38-20, your score here. Don't forget, be sure to check us out this coming Saturday morning. We are there, right? Yeah. Okay. Pro Golf Fairways is where we'll be from 8 to 10 can't be there you can watch us on the website toledosportsnetwork.com or if you're in the toledo area you can listen in on espn 1065 the ticket and uh, of course it's yours truly along with his truly and uh my or uh, dave and robert jeff menore and a cast of well, thousands yeah thousands actually i think i'm going to make sure the phones are working so that dave and Dave and uh, Steve Taylor can go at it. I'm thinking that's probably the way we're going to do it. <laughs> oh, boy. Plants go strong but can't get it to fall. Yeah, but that, that was opened up where uh, Andrew Bench actually put a guy on the floor, literally put him on the floor, and that's how that happened. Dominic with the basket. They dribble on the baseline there. and Man, oh, man. It's just when it rains, it pours. They Elmwood just can't catch a break. Yeah. You got to you got to put the props out to uh, Genoa and their defense. Their defense is what makes them what they are. And uh, every single guy on that court right now can handle the ball and uh, could probably be a point guard anywhere, even bench. Boy, I don't want to say that. You don't ever want to tell a big guy he can dribble the ball. <laughs> we saw what happened last time he did that baseline there, yeah. two trips ago. There's the plants for three. That's where it's at. My goodness. That gives him nine. The ball's going to. Uh, the ball went for the three. Could not get it to go, but some contact there. Drew Bench, I think, picked up his hmm. third, or not his third, his second foul. Well, he was in the vicinity. <laughs> he was in the neighborhood. Yeah, he was definitely in the neighborhood. On the, oh. <laughs> nice. That was a nice effect there by Bench. I think he just slapped the board. Just to. I always thought you weren't supposed to do that. You know? Well, no, you're not. But, I mean. Sure. At least he did it timely enough to make it look like mm. he was going for the block. And the ball's coming back the other way here with 3.07 to go. Some of the Genoa fans aren't happy. Uh, Traxler is going to take a timeout. So 3.07 to go, 43-22, your score. The count's on top. Stop struggling with the big box stores. Choose Gladio. A hardware store gets so much more. Your home improvement answer store. place to design your interior space. A professional and friendly smiling face. Everything you need for your home. Gladio is locally owned. You'll be glad to know. Gladio, Gladio Home Center. It's 
So it's 43-22 here with not too much time left in this third quarter. And my goodness, I guess the thing you do if you're Elmwood at this point, I'm thinking, is, well, you rent the movie drum line. Uh, <laughs> Just a thought. Become big fans. You, Nick, you Cannon. Get Nick Cannon and his Twitter with his, account. With, and his, uh, with his new hair. We, oh, I don't even you, want to know. Have you seen it? No. Oh, man. It's like he's going back to the 70s or something. It's, it's different. Long alley-oop feed. And again, they can't get going. There but go. there you go. If you do that all night. You don't need to all, do all threes, man. Just... Work it, get your twos to drop. Well, the, the big problem is uh, the ball handling. Good effort there by Plants. It just didn't fall. The ball's been all right. I mean, he's got 11 points here. And, oh, nice pickpocket over there. And strolling down was Stoner. Stoner. And, man, bodies flying everywhere. But it's going to go back. Uh, I believe it's a foul against Genoa. And it looks like it's going to be Monsieur uh, Dominique. I think that's three on him. So, two and 20 to go. Defense is just, <laughs> just incredible. Tell you what, they're doing good there well. with that short jumper. Didn't get it to go, but still they created opportunity. Here comes Genoa. Feet inside. I bench. love it. Oh, sorry, Stoner with it. Kick back out to Bradfield. He'll drive. Short jumper that's partially blocked. You know what? I, mean, nice I think that was a pass. I think he was passing that into uh, shoveling it into bench in there. The thing is, the direction that ball changed in was too too sharp. Right. Well, regardless, it doesn't matter. Genoa's got the ball still. Bradfield thought about it. Stoner's got to be careful. He he almost is. Uh, Palming, Palming it. Oh. it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Write the date down on that one. You Josiah, not... Josiah Childress. Oh, oh. With the block on wow. Drew Bench. My goodness. You do, you do not see that very often, Drew Bench getting blocked. That, that, that may be a YouTube uh, moment. Wow. It doesn't happen often. Special thanks to IBW Local A, UA Local 50, and the Pipe Fitters uh, for helping us out each and every week. Uh, Mommy Bay Turf, Arturo's Pizza, and a Fast Track Performance over there on Alt Road. Ken and uh, Zach and everybody over there trying to make me into a lean, mean fighting machine. There you go. Nothing wrong with that. You need to get out there. We talk about this all the time. You need to. You need to. Yeah, we can have a screening of drumline. <laughs> Here is Duvall with the ball. Okay, with the rock, how's that? Kick back out Duvall. Well, he wanted that one. Yeah, no. he wanted yeah, to shoot it, but his pass wasn't there. Nice. I and like the, that. Man, they still can't get it to go, but he gets his own rebound there and back go. up and in. So good recovery over there by Austin Minnick. Oh, it's 44-26, got 45 seconds to go. Here in the third quarter. Man. Yeah, Bench yep. doesn't miss those. Yeah, I was going to say, he was determined to make sure that one went in after the block. At this point, you want the last shot, and you want to make this one count. You get yourself set up in your half-court offense here and find out what you can do. That's going to give you some ideas going into this fourth quarter. There it is. That's all they wanted. Yep. I got no problem with that. And it's a miss. There's bench to plants and well, oh, 5.6 seconds to go. That was a foul. 
Neither team really in any serious foul trouble right now. I mean, no. So, first foul of the night against Caleb Plout. Vance shoots and misses the first. This is the stuff you got to really work on, and you got to know this is when you got to get mentally tough. Well, he goes one for two. You don't get a free taco for that, right? Uh, no. Now I want Taco Bell. Great. Nice okay. block by Plants as he just shut down Mason Lent. So we got three in the books here in Genoa. 47-26 year score. It's high school basketball, and it is the Toledo Sports Network. Genoa Jewelers, 611 Main Street in Genoa has been serving the area with quality jewelry and gifts for over 19 years. Specializing in gold and silver repairs, Frank Comeis has been a goldsmith for over 30 years. Our selection of Pulsar watches, precious moments figurines, reflections beads, seraphim classics, and quality stellar rings, all at a price you can afford. Genoa Jewelers also buys gold and silver and has the perfect gift for that someone special. Stop out today at Genoa Jewelers, 611 Main Street in Genoa. So we've got one more to go here from Genoa. Don't forget this coming Thursday, two nights from now, Comets will head to Lake to take on the Flyers. We'll have that for you right here. We'll be there. Approximately 7.15. Ish. Ish, yeah, closer to 7.30. You never know. After the JV game. But we're set up to do two games that night. We are set up to do two games that night. Um, but it, it's just it's just going to depend on our on our sponsors. Yep. You know what we can get? We want to go out and do the Elmwood girls game, uh, or I'm sorry, Eastwood girls game. Mm -hmm. And uh, but we'll see. We'll see. We're A lot ready. of phone calls tomorrow. Indeed. 514-1302 If you want to call him, <laughs> him is Mike Jamison. And I'll say, hello. Hi, everybody. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, I was going to say, great effort. Now, oh, Bench had the right idea, but it was swatted out of his hand. But it will remain, I believe, Genoa ball. Glenn Forbush is telling me that uh, the University of Toledo Rockets are getting hammered by, by Buffalo. Buffalo? Right you, you, didn't, you didn't? Okay, I'm a, I'm a UT guy. Uh huh. Even I knew. No, you're a Notre Dame guy. Uh, well, I... Went to UT. Oh. So. But still. <laughs> the, the number 19 team in the country. Yeah. I they, know. And, and they couldn't beat they couldn't beat Ball State. Just saying. So 47-26 your score here. Here's the feed for Bradfield. He was able to haul that one in. The pass wasn't exactly right to him. Trying to get around Duvall. Beautiful. And does. Just couldn't finish. Boy, the ball was going to, he was going to shoot the rock. Mm -hmm. He thought about it. Wow, got that one by Plants. Uh, now the ball lets it go. Three-point basket. 14 points for Duvall. There's Plants. Goes strong, is fouled by Duvall, I believe. Jonathan Duvall has 14 points and uh, no fouls right now. Either. Well, he just picked up his first. Oh, did he? Gotcha. Well, no, that was a full. That wasn't a foul. That was a full. That was a full? That was a full. It was a full fault. He gets seven fools and five fouls. There you go. And Plants. This is a little off tonight. Quietly, he's got 10 Will points. Will somebody give Jake Plants a Snickers bar, please? Yes. <laughs> when you feel hungry. Uh oh. Ninety-eight sixty-three is the uh, score. <laughs> What's that? That's oh. for the Toledo game. Yikes. Jay Williams is home right now and uh, watching the Rockets get hammered. Well, he's watching us, too. Yeah. 
Well, it's at least at least ours is a closer game, sort of. I'll know one thing from this game. Yes. I bit my tongue in this game bad, all the way in the back. That's because you saw Drew Bench get his shot blocked. No, no, I just did it. So oh. that was before then. Sorry, Drew. Tell you what, he's probably one of the, the kids I've really, I've been doing this a while. He's probably been, him and, and Plants both are two of the kids that I've really enjoyed watching mature. Oh, yeah. Along oh, with he's, Nate Lewis he's on this he's team. There's a three attempt. Oh, I thought that was going in. Oh, and we got a foul here on on uh, Weiss. Is that Weiss? Okay. Hold on, blue. Hold on, blue. Hold on, blue. Hold. Usually we say three blue with the hold, but uh -huh. well, I'm just saying what he said. I know. That's what. No, that's why I'm saying it. Cause oh. not cause of you, because of him. And the three attempt from Plants is not didn't go. Duvall with the rebound. Wow, that was just a bit high and outside there for Wentz to try and pull that one in. And how soon till you see some of the youngsters for Genoa come in? So you got 5.57 to go in this one. This one pretty much decided because, I mean, next foul, by Elmwood puts them in the penalty. Right. So I'm just trying to think what the magic number is here for the Comets. Uh, Zach Alt, see what he does. But here come Elmwood. Nice, Elmwood. nice inside. Nice, nice. Yeah, there, there you go. go. That's all they. That's all you like to see. Yep, Nick Weiss. With Tenacity the at its best. That's my word for today. Tenacity. You like that five word? Point, five points for Weiss. Yep. 47-31. Did I use it correctly for in, you there? In proper structure, yes. Wow. It's 2019, folks. And you bit your tongue. <laughs> Bradfield. Nope. Duval with the clean rebound. Lentz. Here's Lentz. That's the one we need to see some work from. Nope. Off the front of the rim. Good. Put back. Nope. Too strong. I has got another. Well, there you Finally go. got it to go. Was uh, Bryce Reynolds. Reynolds. Yeah. Yeah. George thought about it, but. If you're Genoa, you just want to slow things up here sure. a little bit. Exactly. Bradfield, oh, he thought about it, but kicks it back out. Got it. There you go, McGeorge for three. And it's 50-33. I apologize. Our clock went out here, folks. So I'll try and keep oh, you updated. Nice. Great layup. Got it to go. Mason Lenz with the bucket. That gives him six. Just smooth, just so smooth. George again for three. Count it. Wow. I think he got fouled on that too. So 409. He did get fouled on that, didn't he? Yes, he did. So it'll be a four-point play. Once picks up his second foul. Oh no. Ah, I was away from the ball. His bench is going to shoot. Or did they not count the, they take the bucket away from McGeorge? No, I think he got it. Okay. I already put it in, so let's see. Bench with the one and one. Yeah. 53-35. So oh, I got to take the clock off. Plants picked up a foul there after the first free throw attempt from Bench. No, 
Elmwood with the ball. I can tell our camera's a little off keel here. We're, uh, we're not, uh, we, must have, we must have got it out of a level. Nice job for Duvall. Jonathan Duvall with the foot back. He's been a workhorse, 16 points. Only bench with 18 with more points. Bradfield gets it out of harm's way. Another three attempt, too strong. Bench right there, though. Oh, Puts it up nice. and in. And one. Wow. He, is, he is a workhorse, man. He is a workhorse. And it's good. 21 points for Drew. 56. Leading scorer tonight. 37, yep. <clears throat> Got a foul here on Bradfield. So Bradfield will get pick up foul number three. 320 to go. It's all it's all irrelevant at this point. And Lentz sinks the first. You know, I'm, I'm almost interested also in seeing what Elmwood does in their next game. They're home to Fostoria. That'll be a good game. Yeah, I think it will be. I think they, I think they match up well against each other when you consider the styles of play of both teams. Yeah, about three minutes left in this one, folks. Yep, 3.07. Feed down low, bench double teamed. Still mm. able to go. Oh man, oh, he tried. He, uh, it, that pl this place would have came unglued if he would have sunk that. Duvall, short, bench with the easy rebound. He's had a ton of them tonight. Yep. And I think we got a foul here on Lentz. His plant was going by him. So, one and one for. Jake Plants. Plants, as we said, with a quiet now 11 points. But as per usual, when it's not him, it's Drew Bench. Timeout going to be taken here. Genoa, 2.46 to go, 58-39, your score. At Genoa Custom Interiors, we provide quality service at competitive prices. We offer a variety of flooring and interior design options customized to fit your needs. From carpets to hardwood, no matter what type of flooring you desire, we have what you want. Our designers will show you how to set up furniture, flooring, window treatments. Contact us today for a free estimate for any of our interior design, installation, and services. Genoa Custom Interiors. 2.46 on the clock and... Comets comfortably ahead. Of course, I'm sure if you ask Zach all he's never comfortably ahead, but you get the point. 58-39, your score. The Royals have just not, not been able to get anything to fall tonight. Nice effort, but it's the shot was a little off. Rebound by Plants. Carried that too. Yeah, he did. But I think we've got another timeout here. We'll keep it right here. 219 on the clock. As well, you know what? Uh, of course, we've got Lake coming up here, Lake and Genoa this Thursday. Yeah. And of course, that should be an interesting game as well. I mean, 
you're throw, it doesn't matter what the records are. You know doggone well Lake is going to be very up for that game because anytime it's a battle of 795, uh, the guys in the double blue will be ready to go with Genoa. Well, I'll tell you what. Lake is really going to have some, some heavy-duty plan. You know, they're, they're going to have to work hard to get that game. I, I mean, I really think they're going to have to work hard to get that game. But uh, but it's it's just another one of those games where, uh, uh, you know, I think we're going to start seeing a lot of stuff when uh, when they have to play Wasey on and, uh, and they have to play uh, Defiance. And those games are makeup games that will be coming up, and we'll have those games for you. Well, Genoa and, needs to get it over the line. They do, just barely. Well, I'll tell you, the young ones are coming out hard. They want this ball for Elmwood. Yep, and the thing is, is that they're moving. Oh, I think this one's against Plants. A little too aggressive there on the turn. Offensive. Yep. Jake Plants picks up his third foul. Nice turn inside. Good block over there by right now. A good steal. They're just like, they're like spiders. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're just everywhere. You turn and they're still there. Oh my God, they're still there. That's uh, that's some very no, good. No, no, those defense. are deadheads. Oh, okay. That's how you know. You know how your house has been robbed by a deadhead? Huh. He's still there. <laughs> All right, I'm with you. Nice. A beautiful scoop by Bench. Oh, great effort by Duvall, but again, couldn't get it to go at all. Working it nice now. And this is where you just want to eat the clock. Eat it up. Yeah, well, I mean, you got this game. That's all you want. It's a nice, if you get a layup, you take the layup. And that's six points now for Joey Dominique as we're under a minute to go in the game. And then over here from a two-point land is missed by Childress. Coming back the other way. Oh, Dominique strong. Oh, <laughs> Bench wanted the, he wanted the flush, but he couldn't get it to go. Thought about it, but got some of the young guys coming in now. Yep, everybody's gonna hit the gonna hit the bench as all the youngins will come in. That one, that was great. Bench went up. He thought he had himself a dunk. Just just missed it. There is uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Gravity snuck in there and. Prevented of the. I thought this was Copa Cabana. And her name was Lola. She was the show girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we all we all know how that ends. Thanks, Rico, for blowing it. We're at the Copa. <laughs> uh. <laughs> for the two people that are listening right now, right? Yeah. And the three on the replay. Uh -huh. uh, down on the floor. Boy, they're letting just scramble, scrum, aren't yeah, they? That was a scrum. What was that called? That a scrum? Yeah. I mean, the rugby, the rugby yeah. boys are going, hey, wait a minute. Maybe I should have played basketball. Caleb Plouk was down there, but so it's Elmwood ball. 25 seconds to go, a long three, oh, no tried. good. Clock nice again. Turn, nice turn. Man. Ooh. Nice bucket over there from Carter Taft. But, yeah, it's pretty much gonna do it now as they'll just let the time wind down and go to zero and Genoa will walk away with a 62-41 victory over Elmwood tonight here in a Northern Buckeye Conference game. And, well, 
for Elmwood. They don't have much time. Two nights from now, they've got to go home to play for Astoria. Of course, Genoa will be on the road. They'll be at Lake to take on the Flyers. We'll have that for you. And, well, Mike, any closing comments here before we call it a game? Uh, this is the one. This is when you got to be worried a little bit of your Genoa comment because you've got to make sure you keep your head on straight. Right now, you've got to keep your head on straight. When it comes down to uh, what's going to be happening for the next few games for the Comets, they're, they're, they're that good. They're playing that well right now. They're clicking, and uh, they have to make sure they keep that mindset and uh, keep what the, you know, what the final, what, you know, what, what is the final product? What is the final, you know, and uh, that's where we got to look right now. Because let's face it, the, uh, uh, the, uh, right now the NBC is a little bit, a little down this year. And, uh, and there, there's some work. Now next year it's going to be a whole different story. We're going to be a whole different beast. And that's just how it goes. It's just a, uh, you know, it's a wave. And right now the comments are riding the wave. Well, that's going to do it from here in Genoa. 62-41, your final. Thanks uh, to our crew. Thanks, Glenn. Uh, and uh, Mike, and yours truly. And uh, we'll talk to you again Thursday night when Lake hosts Genoa here on the Toledo Sports Network.